Today we're going to get into wrist rests for mechanical keyboards, but I guess this also applies to other keyboards. Here we have some wrist rests from Glorious PC Gaming Race. They come in these simple black and white boxes, and we have two soft foam ones and one wooden one, and they also come with these nice logo stickers. Okay, so first of all, I haven't really been a wrist rest type of guy, mainly because it takes up space on my desk, and it gets in the way when I like have papers in front of me, and I need to write or draw something. So I don't have the most experience, but I have been using my homemade one on and off. One of the main aspects of ergonomics is the natural positioning of the body, and what wrist rests aim to do is to provide a more natural position for the wrists, and this is where wrist rests are kind of a compromise. Naturally, our wrists should be something like this, and if you hover when typing, then you're set, and that's the recommended positioning for typing. However, due to laziness, many of us just rest our wrists on the table when typing, However, probably the main factors that encourage this behaviour is the height of your table and the height of your chair. We've all seen these types of diagrams before, and this is all dictated by the furniture being used and the relationship with your body. So if our table is too high, we're more likely to position our wrists on the table. If it's at the correct height, it's just naturally easier to hover over your keyboard. And that's part of the compromise. I've seen people completely dismiss the ergonomic value of wrist rests because it does discourage hover typing. However, on the other hand, it's a good thing for people who don't do that like me. So therefore, it's a good thing since it completely changes the angle of your wrists from a very bent position to a more natural straight position. Another thing I thought I should bring up are the flip up feet. These basically make it easier to reach the top keys However, this is only the case when our wrists are planted, but as we can see, it just worsens the angle of our wrists, so this is considered as an ergonomic no-no. So starting with the foam ones, and the ones I have here are full size lengths for standard 100% keyboards, but they also come in a 10 keyless version and a compact 60% version. These have a smooth cloth surface exterior with a foam core interior, which they describe has a medium firmness, and I guess that's accurate, and I like the feel of it. It shouldn't be too soft and spongy or your wrists will sink too low, and it just provides that nice soft support under your wrists instead of the usual hard surface of your table. There's a stitch frame to prevent the cloth from fraying, and it's lined with a rubber base to keep it steady on the desk. Plus we also get the somewhat large branding on the right hand side. The build is what you expect, it's just foam with cloth around it, but it's done nicely. They do state that it requires a week or two of use to break in. When I first got them, they were bowed, and still after like 3 weeks, they're still quite bowed. These come in two heights, which is an important factor. We have the thick one, which is 25mm thick, and the thin one, which is about half of that at 13mm, but I measured it to be at least 5mm thicker than that, but I guess it still has to be broken in more. At first, I found the thinner one to be more comfortable. It provides a slightly elevated platform which eases the wrists a little bit, plus the softness added to the comfort. But I also think I found it more comfortable because it wasn't too far from my normal position without a wrist rest, so the change wasn't that drastic. The thicker one at first felt too high for me and was a drastic change, but the more I used it, the more I appreciated that extra height. It does make for a much more neutral position for the wrists, being also higher than the wooden wrist rest as well, but it does take a bit of time to get used to because my muscles were just too used to slouching back down. However, I do feel that the positioning of the keyboard is more important. If we're resting our arm to the table, the greater height of the wrist rest is kind of sudden, and then the keyboard goes downwards after that. With the thinner version, it's kind of more gradual and was easier to get used to, but I think it's worth putting in the time to adapt to the thicker one. Now to the wooden one. This also comes in the various lengths, however this is the only thickness it comes in. It's made from American white ash, which is a cheap and common hardwood and it naturally looks something like this. But it comes in two different coated colours. This one I have is the onyx black colour, which is a very dark brown. And there's also golden oak which is more orangey and shows off the grains a bit better. And I just much more prefer the look of wooden wrist rests in comparison to foam ones. In the bottom corner the logo seems to be laser etched and this time they didn't put the text there which is nice. The wood grain does make it look a bit weird but of course every wooden wrist rest is different. The wrist rest is nicely made, the finish is smooth but we can still feel the grains of the wood. 
The edges are only slightly rounded, so perhaps it should have been rounded just a little bit more. The rear edge is chamfered quite a bit, and I guess it more easily matches different keyboards since they're all differing heights. On the bottom we have these channels, and this is just because wood expands and contracts in different weathers and seasons, and we also get two large rubber feet which are actually quite thick at 3mm. So there's basically three main shapes for wooden wrist rests. First there is just the flat profile, then we have an angled single line profile, and then we have this which is kind of a combination of both. This type of shape allows for a steeper angle. It's a very comfortable shape where that slope grabs the bottom half of the palm. While comfortable, there is still some bending to the wrists, but it's definitely reduced. The angle change halfway isn't obtrusive to me. It's right at that spot where you don't really feel it. While wood is of course harder than foam, it's not a hard feeling surface where the smoothness of the finish really does contribute to the softness of the feel. So out of the three, which one do I like most? I much more prefer the look of the wooden wrist rest, and the golden oak one looks quite interesting. However, the thick foam one grew on me quite a bit, in how it really does put my wrists higher, making it very similar to a hovering position. So I really like that. If you have several keyboards of varying sizes, then it would probably make sense to go for the compact 60% one, since that's where we use the keyboard mostly anyway. Overall, I'm a believer in dedicated wrist rests. I'm now using them in an on-off kind of situation where if I'm just typing I'll bring it out because I do value my desk space at the end of the day. I guess it depends on how you're positioned relative to your keyboard and how you type. So it's good for some and maybe bad for others. Regardless, they're a cool looking accessory to complement your mechanical keyboard.